The master hired River to transport an expanding sun and its planet, in dimension condensers, from one side of the universe to the other, to a place where the planet would have been saved from destruction. River accepted the assignment, but during transport a fault in her vortex manipulator caused her to crash to Earth, separated from the two condensers. Aware that they would soon burst from the pressure of their contents, River infiltrated unit, sending the third doctor on a wild goose for sensorites and convincing the brigadier to hire her as Liz Shaw's assistant. Thus she was able to take hold of the TARDIS and use it to trace the capacitors. Audio, Rivers of Light Liz at first reacted very badly to the betrayal but later came to appreciate River thanks to an investigation they conducted on strange otherworldly phenomena in an English village, which led the two women to confront and stop Beatrice Grey from consuming the life energy of the entire village with a guardian stone. Audio, The Blood Woods When Liz was kidnapped by the Residian and transported to the fake suburb of Fetter Bailey, Sahara, River tracked her down and infiltrated the compound. Once she reached Liz, she managed to rouse her from the parasite's mental influence long enough to discover the truth about the place and stop their attempt to feed off the residence's psionic energy. Audio, Terror of the Suburbs Later, River and Liz found themselves investigating the case of missing students linked to the activities of the electronics company Intertraxia. They discovered that it was being run by another alien parasite, feeding on human neuronic energy. River connected to the company's network to save the people inside, and managed to send Liz back to the real world when she was captured. This allowed Liz to disconnect the network, saving River's life as well. Audio, never alone. Eventually, the doctor returned to unit, just as River had finally found the capacitors in a small village in Yorkshire. Their contents were beginning to leak out, and soon the earth would be destroyed. With the help of Liz, the brigadier and a reluctant and suspicious doctor, River managed to recover the cubes and complete the mission. After getting paid by the master, and learning that this was a dress rehearsal for his own plan against the doctor and Earth, she tricked him and locked him up in a dimension condenser and handed him over to the Time Lords. Audio, Rivers of Light. 